everyone, it's me, YD28, and welcome back to my channel with another episode of The Sims 2 Let's Play Strange Town. Today we are going to look into our third household, which is actually the Grunt family. Uh, the Grunt family bio is Tank has always lived under the ha hard thumb of his father, General Buzz Grunt. In this domesticated boot camp, can Tank prove his worth to his demanding dad? So, um, yeah, it's Grunt and his three sons, and I think his wife died, um, shortly after giving birth to his youngest son, whose name is Buck. There's Buck, Rip, and Tank, and Tank wants to, um, get his father's approval. He tries really, really hard to be like his father, and Rip is just like, I don't give a F. <laughs> I'm gonna do nothing so he has the romance inspiration and Buck is just kind of Buck. He's a child. He's trying to grow up. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see Um, I think Yeah, uh, I don't think I don't know I just woke up a little recently and I'm recording this in the morning before I start my busy day So, um, I'm just going to skip until we load into their house. So I'll see you guys in a second Alright guys, so welcome to the house we started on Mr. Rip, but I'm going to go in uh, order of all of them. Wow, look how fancy. Oh, he's looking dapper in his medals and stuff. This is General Buzz Grunt. Uh, and he wants to fight everyone. He hates everyone. We can fight the alien. I think that's appropriate for him. He's a military man. Uh, his relationships is he is enemies with Pollination Tech Number 9 Smith, who is married to Jenny Smith. Uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. He, uh, has bad relationships with everyone, and he also hates all of Spectre, which I'm assuming it's because she's, um, dabbled in terrible things. Quote, unquote, terrible things. I think it's awesome. Um... And he has negative 20 relationship with Rip. Almost friends with Tank. It's like he, he's almost there and he's just like kind of there with Buck. He is a general making tons and tons of money. Uh, he's maxed the body skill and almost maxed mechanical. And he has a fair amount of charisma. But he has no cooking, no logic, no creativity, no cleaning. His personality is huge active. Kind of outgoing, kind of neat. Or mostly neat and outgoing. He's very serious and he's quite grouchy. He's not nice at all. He's he's also uh, extremely fit. And his sim bio says the general likes to have his clocks set to military time. He used to enjoy barbershop quartet singing, but that is classified information. How interesting. We'll get him to sing some karaoke. And what I've been meaning to do, because um, my friend in the comments, who I appreciate you so, so much, uh, Maxina. I think the username is. Your username is really long, friend. Um, keeps telling me in their memories uh, this is what happened. So I'm going to go through their memories uh, just super quickly. This is like them. So look, he's here he fights. I think he's a, um, a teenager here. And he fights with Pascal, Vidkund, Loki, and Lazlo at school. And he has his first kiss with Lila, which Lila is his wife who's passed away. So he met Lila in high school, and then he grew up into a young adult, or an adult. Uh, he fell in love with Lila, and they got engaged. He got his job in the military career, and they got married. He got a promotion. His father died, and his father was General Chip Grunt. Um, and then they woohooed. He got a promotion. They had Tank. And then his mom died. And then they had Rip. And Rip grew up badly, so that is why... He got a lot of promotions, and then they had Buck. Then he lost a fight with Pollination Tech number 9. Oh, and they broke up. No, but I swear she's dead. Let me check this. Yeah, she's dead. But did they break up and then she died? What? How intriguing. We'll have to find that out in the other kids' um, memories. 
sorry. Um, so yeah, that is Sir um, Buzz Grant. So these are his parents, and these are his kids. And so next we'll... Oh, and also he has a popularity aspiration, and he wants to own five top-level businesses. This is a lifetime aspiration, which, you know, can't be done. This is Tank. And Tank uh, is wearing military stuff. He's... Um, has face paint all over his face. He's wearing army camo because he wants to be just like his dad. He actually wants to fight Johnny like his dad. He's like hugely, hugely, oh my god, they hate each other a lot. So I'll maybe invite him over to fight him. If we see his relationships, his mom did die. He is an A- minus student, which is awesome. His personality is very outgoing, and he's very fit from that. He's quite neat, but he's kind of shy, very serious, and sometimes he can be nice if he wants to. His symbiote, Tank Grunt, wants to just be wants to be just like his old man. He spends his days lifting heavy things, dodging imaginary bullets, and being bigger than the other guy. But deep down inside, he wonders if anyone really knows who he is. So he's trying to get his father's approval, but he doesn't even know who he is. He also has a popularity aspiration. He wants to become a mayor, which maybe we'll go for that instead of military. I don't know. If we run into this, we see he's uh, just grown, grew up well, and then he grew up, uh, Rip grew up bad, Buck grew up well, and he grew up bad. There's no memory of his mom. What happened to her? That is so strange. Um, and these are his turn-ons and turn-offs, but that's it. Oh, and, and he's a Capricorn. Extremely clever, Capricorns often provide amusement for those around them. Also being very practical, they strive for order and discipline. Oh, that's very um, military-like. This is Rip. Rip is apparently the bad boy... He's kind of the Lilith of Strange Town, which I think will like him if that's the case. Um, he's actually uh, friends with Ophelia Nigmos and almost friends with Johnny Smith, I guess, just because Tank does not like him. He wants to actually sneak out with Ophelia, go for a fun time. Ophelia is o Olive Spectre's niece or granddaughter, I can't remember. He is a romance aspiration. He wants to have 20 simultaneous lovers, which is difficult. Um, he has no skills, um, but he is working in the soccer career as a gas station attendant. Uh, I'm seeing if anything's different. No. His personality is he's very sloppy, but he's very outgoing, also very lazy, which is probably why his father is annoyed with him, because he does not want to... Wake up at 5 in the morning and run laps. But he's also very playful and very nice. So he's just very opposite to his to his father and his brother. Rip's bio is Rip totally doesn't care what you think of him. He is going to do whatever he wants to do, which is mostly what everyone else is doing. Of course, buddy. And his memories are childly stuff. Then he grew up bad to a child. And then he grew up bad to a teenager. Now he's working where is his mother? It's so strange. And yeah, that's them. Then we head over to Little Buck, who's just sitting there smiling. He seems to be a little on the chubby side, if that's true. He wants to buy a telescope, so I don't know what's going on. Um, his relationships is he's friends with Rip. He's actually also um, acquaintances with Jill Smith, who is pollination technician number nine's daughter and Johnny Smith's sister. Um, he's an A-plus student. He has no skills at the moment. He's very neat and very nice and shy, lazy, and serious. So he got that from his dad. And he is actually fat, so that's a problem. Oopsie-daisy, I hit a number instead. Uh, so that's a problem. He cannot be fat. His father won't let him. His father probably, that's probably why they aren't friends, because he's... He's unfortunately fat, which is very upsetting because, like, kids can be whatever they want. But, you know, General Buzz wants his kids to all be super fit and athletic and all this. So, yeah, and um, his bio is more than anything else. Buck wants to be a pet stylist to the stars. He spends a lot of time wondering why his father never seems to notice him. Oh, poor Buck. 
So that's the family. So let's go ahead and oh, uh, sorry. Let us look at the house first. So the house is very, um, very, very militaristic. There's this um, nice. Everyone in Strange Town has these like. Let's go all the way up six flights of stairs to our telescope. Um, but this is their yard. Nothing too too fancy. They have swings and the military course in their backyard, which you get from the military career. But this looks like the dorm house of a military place. The main floor, so you walk in, I guess on either side. And there's a bedroom in here. I don't know whose bedroom that is. A nice uh, general living room. A fish tank, which is always cool. Their little bathroom. And their, uh, yeah, this looks like... A giant military base for like people it has like this, the huge counters for the kitchen two dining room tables that like a mess hall sort of thing and the plain bed sheets definitely feeling the dormitory vibe this is the workout area with the kickboxing uh thing kids can punch it what the heck uh bathrooms two big bathrooms and a couple bedrooms i guess this is bucks because it has the child thing in it and uh, this bedroom seems to be like the biggest with the ensuite bathroom. So I guess this is General Buzz's uh, bed. And this painting makes me think that this room is Rip's. That little customization. And because this room is just so plain, it must be tanks. So let us go ahead and uh, I think that was all... Yeah, there's nothing else. Oops. So yeah, that's their uh, that's their place. So let's go ahead and hit play. Young Tank really wants his father's approval. Will finding a good job and working hard finally win Tank his father's respect? Use a computer to start the job search. Uh, oh, they just did not get along. But we're gonna come here and get him a job in military. Oh, poor Buck. Oh, everyone does not like each other. I think um. <laughs> He's like trying to talk to him and Buck's like nah bro nah. So why don't you come out here? Um, why don't you come play on the swing set? Or something. Just get away from your dad for now. Come swing. Or play on playground. I don't know. So Tank is finding a job. Military career is right there. How convenient. Thank you EA. So we're gonna take this job. And um, maybe come talk to your dad about it. And tonight we'll sneak out with Ophelia. So let's see. Let's see if we get his approval on this. And he actually will go to work today. So he needs a charisma skill point to get uh, start getting a promotion. So we're going to come here and practice our speech. Because he has no skills either. Oh, he approves! Oh, he approves a lot, and now they're friends. Oh. How good for Tank. I'm glad for him. But, I mean, it's only them two. Tank has to work so hard for his father's approval, and that's, like, really sad. But we're going to get him... Um, no one has a cooking skill. I guess we're gonna get um, Buck to have a cooking skill, but I don't know. Buck, Buck loves food, so I think I do want to put him in the culinary, something culinary. Um, but he can't really cook anything for anyone, so I don't know what he's gonna do. Uh, Rip, I want you. What do you need to get promoted? A creativity skill point. Um, the problem is there's nowhere to really build your creativity um, from how much points? He has no points. All right, let us, we have some money, so we're going to go ahead and get ourselves. Oh. The microphone is for screaming. I want him to have a uh, electric guitar <laughs> so badly. That is so him. I don't know where I can put it though. Does it have to go outside? I 
think it does. I'll just put it out here. And he can come practice. Oh, I guess he could have written on the computer. But that's Tank's computer. Can't really touch that. Um, and, uh, Buzz, how about you come up here and use the toilet? And I think I want him to max his mechanical skill. So we'll get him to come study some mechanical. Oh, not cleaning. Mechanical. And Max has charisma points. I think he should have those both maxed. Tank is working on that. So let's see how he is. He's trying really, really hard. Go, go, go. Rip, go. <laughs> He's jamming. That's so cute. Look at his face. He's like, I got this. I got this so hard. There you go. He's jamming. You hear the tune? Tank got his charisma skill. Amazing. So, uh, we're gonna get out of here. Because, uh, what's-his-face wants to... P, so we'll come upstairs to P. He wants to fight Johnny Smith, though, so I think we'll maybe see if we can invite him over. Can you leave, please? Go here. Oh, he's in the way. God damn it, Buck. Here, go here. Just go upstairs to P, Buck. It's fine. Um. Oh my god, look who's here. Ophelia! Let us greet her. Greet everyone. Who else is here? Oh, Mr. Humble. No, stop moving. Um, we'll come and greet Ophelia. Not Mr. Humble, because whatever, Mr. Humble, you can just drop that and leave. Bye-bye. So this is Ophelia. She's, like, really, really cute. And then, like, this, like, rocker um, attire. I love her shoes. Oh, my goodness. Oh my they're like, kiss, kiss, darling. So he spends with her and Johnny Smith. Although he's kind of attracted to her, but we'll just gossip and share our interests and joke and probably play kicky bag. That'll be something they do. Uh... Mm. Yeah, so that's what we'll do. Aw, aren't they cute? Um, he doesn't know Ophelia at all. We can... Uh, oh my god, we can fight with his younger brother, but I don't think we will. I think Tank has a soft spot for um, Buck. But come open this for us. I kind of want him to fight Johnny Smith, but I don't I don't think we'll be able to invite him over. Where's our phone? That's a that's a better oh it's right in the kitchen. Uh Sim. So Buzz is getting some enthusiasm about tinkering, which maybe we'll get him the car or something. Uh, so we're gonna invite over Johnny Smith. He might say no, because we don't like each other at all. Yeah, um, I'm making a baked Alaska. I couldn't possibly turn myself away. Yeah. Uh, and we'll just, uh... We don't have a microwave. Let us get a microwave, because no one knows how to cook. <laughs> and I really don't feel like teaching anyone how to cook. So we'll grab... Toaster oven, toaster toaster. Let's just get the zip zip microwave. So we can, um, have a cup of ramen. No, a TV dinner. Yes. And Rip needs to come pee. So he'll come upstairs, because people don't seem to like to use the upstairs bathrooms. Whatever. And Buck wants to buy a new telescope. I forgot that. So we're going to do that for Sherzies. We're going to sell this and get the um, better telescope. 
which is this one. There we go. So now Buck is happy. He wants to make a friend too, so we'll make a new friend with Jill Smith. Let's invite her over. It's a Sunday because we don't have school or anything crazy, so we have tons of time to, you know, do some stuff. Do some stuff, do some stuff. And I'm waiting for... Let's just invite him over. Oh no! Oh, I should have invited over the whole household. Count me out, really out. Oh wow, rude. Why not? Why doesn't she want to see us? I want to invite over the whole household. I'm waiting for the phone repairman. Sorry. Okay, fine. We'll just talk to her. Wow, she's so rude to us. Poor Buck. He just wants a friend. Why does everyone hate him? That's so, so sad. But Rip and Grunt both have work to go to in an hour. So, oh, he's coming out here to use the telescope, but I don't want him to. I want him to come here and have some cookies before uh, work. And I think we'll get Buck to feed the fish. And Ophelia is going to have to leave. Um, probably General Buzz will be like, yo, woman, get out. Ask her to leave. There she goes. Oh, poor thing. And he's going to have a TV dinner too. And poor Buck. Oh, I feel so bad for him. He's so cute. Like, how can you not like him? No one seems to like him. He has to try so hard. Oh, and off they are to their first day of work. They might even get promoted. Oh, actually, he won't. He's actually a gas station attendant, which he's making a lot of money at his part-time job, but his father just doesn't approve of the job he's in because he wants him to be in the military career. And, uh, yeah, they're both on their way. Oh, how exciting. Cool. How exciting, how exciting. So, let us see. Yeah, he's going to eat. And Buck, I think I want him to start... Studying his cooking. I want him to uh, really like cooking. Food is his comfort, you know? No, we're n you can't read to us things. You cannot read to us. Um, I think we'll get him to run the course. The kids can use the course? Oh my god, that's what we should do. He's going he's gonna to offer lessons to Buck and get him to run the course right now. He's gonna run them, he's gonna run them, ba 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 Look at him blowing his whistle. Oh, poor Buck. Go, Buck, go, I believe. Go, buddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> his dad is like, come on, kid. Oh, he got stuck in the net. Good job. A couple more laps and then we'll be done. <laughs> oh, that looks painful. Okay, one one last one. One last one. Oh, actually. Oh, he, he's no longer fat. Jeez, all right, that's enough. Are you coming to congratulate him? Oh my gosh! Oh, he's trying. He's trying so hard. But yeah, um, ba ba ba. I think he'll come grill some hot dogs for them to eat. And Buck wants to go sleep, but I'm gonna just get him to play with his toys. It is now 6 p.m. Tank has come home. He earned 57 simoleons today. And Rip came home and he earned 71. Oh, he's going to answer the phone. Is General Buzz available to talk? He is. 
And Tank, you can come watch some TV. And he wants a handheld game. He wants to go on a date. Um, I'm actually going to get him to sneak out tonight, so that will be a thing. He needs some more friends, though, so I want him to talk with... Yes, so I want him to talk with Johnny Smith before tonight. But we're going to get them to eat, and I think Buck is going to eat overeat again, because he's just on the border of, like, um, being a little tubby and um, less tubby. So I want him to overeat the hot dogs for sure. His food is his comfort. He, although he ran laps with his dad, built a little relationship, he's still sad, right? He's unfortunately very depressed because no one pays attention to poor Buck. And you know what? I want to give him the attention as the omnificent god of Sims. I want to give Buck that attention. So. Um, did he answer the phone? No. Okay. So. Rip can come here and chat with Sir Johnny. Build the relationship. Cool. And then we just need one more friend. Play kicky bag. No. Um, I want... Oh, he just went to sleep. What the heck? That's not your bed. Get up. Yeah, it's 9 p.m. for... Um... Sir Thing. So he's gonna go to bed early. Uh, I think his dad is going to come down here and... Um, uh, read a... Uh... Read a mystery book. Oh, they're fighting. God damn it. Um, you're going to put these away. And come use and take a shower. And then you can go to sleep as well. And Rip, I want you to use and take a shower here. And you will sleep for a little. Uh, actually, I think you can sneak out now. Yes, call to sneak out. So we're going to sneak out with Ophelia. Cool, come pick you up at one. So we'll just sleep until then. Da 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 da. Okay, cool. So Grunt just went to sleep. We're going to change into our everyday. And wait here. Ophelia should be coming in a fancy, fancy car. Yep. Oh, she came in a limo. Awesome! So he snuck out, so let's see. Hopefully he doesn't get caught or anything. Because that would just not be good. Waiting. Oh, and he's home! He made it home okay. Unfortunately, he's going to have to wake up in an hour. But I'm going to end this here. If you enjoyed this part, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me for more videos as I put them out fairly regularly. And yeah, this is the Grunt family. I hope you like them and I will see you guys next time.